Hi everyone, this is just a quick video to show you how to get started using Brian. The first thing you're going to need to do is download a Python distribution, and we recommend using the one from Anaconda. Just go to their website, scroll down to the download link, and choose the version you want. Once you have that, you can open up a command window and install Brian according to the instructions on the website. What I'm going to show you is another way using virtual environments and the Jupyter Notebook, uh, which is how we like to use it ourselves. So, first of all, fire up a command prompt, and we're going to create an environment like this. Conda create minus C Conda forge. That basically decides which distribution channel Conda should download packages from. Then we choose a name, minus N, Brian video. We want Python 3 to be installed, the Brian 2 package, matplotlib for plotting, and ipykernel in order to work with uh, Jupyter Notebooks. Okay, I've already done that, so I won't run that now, but that just takes a few minutes to run as it downloads and installs all of those packages. We'll also go ahead and create a Jupyter Notebook environment. So I'm going to create a Jupyter Notebook environment. Again, it's going to be Python 3. I want to install the Notebook package, and I also want to install the NB Conda Kernels package uh, so that I can run different environments from that Jupyter Notebook environment. Okay, again, I'm not going to run that right now because I've already done that before. Having done that, I now activate that Jupyter Notebook environment by typing conda activate Jupyter. So I hit that, and you can see now here that this Jupyter says that that, no, that environment has been activated. Now I'm going to run Jupyter, and you'll see how Jupyter works. So I hit that, in a few moments the server will start, and the um, notebook server will start in my browser like so. So you can see here that um, I have an empty list of notebooks, so I create a new notebook and it gives me a choice of uh, different environments that I can use, and you can see I've got several. So I'm going to create one in the Brian Video environment we just created, and that will open up a new tab with a new notebook. And now here I can write in cells, that's the way a notebook works. So I can say write print three times five, press shift and enter, and it will execute that cell and create a new one for me. And now I can edit these cells and rerun them in any order I like. So for now I'm going to import Brian2, and I'm just going to check that it works by printing out what 3000 millivolts is. And I'm going to press control enter this time to run that without creating a new cell. And we just wait a moment while Brian imports for the first time, and then it will print out 3 volts. Okay, that's it. I'm going to show you in another video how you can run Brian in the cloud without having to do any local installation, uh, and also, of course, how to actually get started actually using Brian. Thank you very much. Hope that was helpful.